Hey guys, I'm Alshon C4 here, and today we're taking a look at the Transformers Prime Deluxe Class Arachnid. Now, Arachnid is a figure that a lot of people just don't really like, and I can see where they're coming from, but for some reason, I always seem to like figures that most people don't like. I mean, like, let's say Universe Galvatron. Everyone hated Universe Galvatron, and I loved it, and I really do like this figure, even though I hate Arachnid in the show. I thought she was really annoying, um, but here she is. Pretty cool little helicopter, it is very compact. She does come with these two sort of harpoon little weapons here. They just pop off there. Um, let's just leave that to the side for a second. What really sucks about this helicopter mode though, is that there is no landing gear. Um, so basically, she's sort of, I don't know, she always sits at kind of an angle, she always wobbling around and that. That kind of sucks. But anyway, let's focus on these weapons now. Now these weapons are very, very cool. I really do like them. They have really nice detail, the really cool gold sort of harpoon thing in the middle, cool purple on the side, very, very cool. It also has a lot of these pegs, so you can peg them really any way you want, really. Um, they are both the same, more or less, and they can peg onto the side of the vehicle like that, or, if you want, you can peg them on like this. And either way, it, it looks fine. Um, but honestly, I'd prefer to leave them off. Now, I pretty much love the vehicle mode, but if I only had one gripe about it that I could pick out, it would have to be the size. This thing is incredibly small when in vehicle mode. I mean, here she is next to a Scout class. Um, she's extremely thin. I mean, she's. I mean, it's fairly long, but it's not that long. I mean, she's extremely small. Arachnid's transformation is fairly involved. It is a lot of fun to mess around with. And the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to lift this piece up like that. Kind of, start, kind of fall out the little feet pieces here, like so. Come over here, rotate this piece out, just try and grab onto it, rotate it out. Then just sort of pull it out like that until it clicks. Let's do that again on the other side and this side. Okay, unpeg it, and then just sort of pull it until the arm slides out fully. Then what we're going to do is we're going to extend the forearm just like that, flip out the hand. Now, that's where a lot of people have been having the problems. Um, her arms suck, basically. Um, in fact, the robot mode is pretty underwhelming, but whatever. Anyway, you can fold out her arms like that, and that is her arms. There is no further part of the transformation. That are they are her arms. I mean, that's pretty terrible. That's very poor engineermanship. That's not even a word, but that's that's pretty poor. Anyway, rotate those pieces out. Then what we're going to do is we're going to lift this piece up and just let it flop for a little bit because I've forgotten something. We have to take this cockpit, flip this piece up, close it back over. Then what we can do is we're going to slide this entire back section up and that will reveal the head, like that. Then what we can do is we can take this piece, rotate it around the correct way, and there's a little peg there. Peg that into that piece, just there. Then you can angle the extra legs slash rotors onto a back. And these things look pretty dumb, to be honest. I mean, she hasn't got the correct amount of legs. I mean, it's just not great. Anyway, finally, we're just going to split her actual legs. And there is Arachnid in her robot mode. Okay, so the robot mode is where people are having most of their problems, and I can see exactly why. It looks as if, you know, Hasbro put very minimal effort into this. I mean, it's just, it's not very good. Um, the arms are terrible. Um, you can barely get her into any decent looking poses with them. I mean, just look at that. That's terrible. And the hand is just sort of pegged on. It's got a massive hole going through it. The head's okay, but it's very... You can't move it very much because it's very hindered. Um, but the head's okay. Now, she does have ball joints up here on her hips, but you can't move them because this part of the helicopter is in the way, and you can only move it that far. That's how far forward you can move her leg. You can't move it any further. You can move it back, but that's how far you can move it back. Unless you sort of... No, you can't do it. You can't move the legs very far. That's the only movement you're going to get out of the legs from there. Now, she does have a knee joint, and that's okay. And the feet, I mean, what the hell's going on here? She can barely stand up. These feet are useless. She's always falling over. It. This sucks. I'm also not entirely sure what's going on with these extra legs. Why are they, you know, this sort of purple? For one, but whatever. But I mean, they just—they don't do anything. I mean, you can't move them forward, so you can't make her, you know, use them for an attack. This is always coming out. It's always unpegging. It's just—I don't know. I just, I'm not a huge fan of this robot mode. I think if you're going to get this figure, definitely get it for the vehicle mode because the vehicle mode is a lot of fun. But the robot mode, it just, you know, it seems like they put very minimal effort into it. Now she can hold her weapons in robot mode. You can attach them to up here. 
which I think looks the best to be honest. It sort of makes the arms look a little bit better from the side. Um, so you, you can attach them up there if you want, but you can also... In fact, I'm not going to take that one off, I'm going to do it from this side. You can take it, and there's a little hole in her hand there, and you can just sort of shove it in her hand like that. And um, that looks kind of dumb, to be honest. I mean, she's got a massive gun wedged into her hand. That is some piercing. She does have a tiny, tiny Decepticon symbol in there. Um, we can just about make it out. She has a, a few different little paint apps, but other than that, she has got very little molded detail or paint apps. Most of the paint went onto these guns, if I'm honest. Just for a quick comparison, here is Arachnid next to her longtime rival RC. So you can see they do scale fairly well. I think that, you know they are about in scale. It's just a shame that Arachnid looks like a piece of shit. But that is about it for Arachnid Romo. So let's get transformed back into her vehicle mode. Finally, because the vehicle mode is the saving grace of the toy. Anyway, let's get these guns out. Shove those off to the side. Come around here to the rotors. Just sort of lift them up like that. We'll unpack it in a moment. Anyway, then what we're going to do, fold in the arms. Fold up the hands like so. Now take the legs. Peg them together. Flip up the feet. I'm going to take the pieces. going to peg them in. Like so. Now, I will say transforming this thing is kind of fun. I do enjoy transforming it. Um, that's also a redeeming quality, but the robot mode is just not very good, to be honest. So if you're going to buy it, buy it for the transformation and for the vehicle mode. But anyway, take the head, shove it down there. You've got to slide the entire, you know, sort of helicopter part up here. You've got to slide that down. Anyway, take this piece. That will now peg together, form the rear of the helicopter. And then what we can do lift up the cockpit, rotate it out the front of the helicopter. And she does actually have a molded seat in there, I've only just noticed that. So that's pretty cool. Fold that down, and now it's just a matter of pegging in the arms. Which is a fairly simple affair. Okay, got that pegged in. There we go. Pegged in there. It's kind of a pain to do, but once you do it, it's alright. And there is Arachnid back in her helicopter mode. But there is Arachnid. Now, like I said, I do recommend this figure for the vehicle mode and the transformation. The robot mode is very underwhelming, but you'll be fairly satisfied with this vehicle mode. I do really like it. It's really nice and compact. I mean, it looks like a helicopter. So, yeah, what's more, you know, it's pretty cool. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next review.